Today we are going to do another problem with the Markov chain. So two players are at a deuce. Two players are at deuce in a tennis match. That is, they will keep playing until one player has two more points than the other player. The first player has 60% chance of winning every point, while the second player has 40% chance. What is the probability that the first player wins the match? So let's give an example of how a deuce work in a tennis match. Let's say that two players are at deuce. So we have player A and player B. So they would be tied when they're at deuce. So if player A scores one point, they will keep playing the game. And if player A scores another point, then player A will win the match. On the other hand, if player one scores and then player two scores again, now they are tied again. Player A would need to score two more points in order to win the game. So notice you have to score two extra points. If player A scores one point, and then player B scores one point and player B scores another point. Now player B is leading by one point. And if player B scores one more point, then player B wins the match because player B would have scored two more points than player A. So how do we model this problem using Markov chain? So let's define the starting state where player A and B are tied. And we know that there is a 60% chance that player A scores one point. So player A will be ahead by one point. And if player A wins again from this stage on with another 60%, then player A would have two more points than player B in which case player A would, would win the match. On the other hand, starting from player A one point up, player B might win. In that case, there's a 40% chance that the game becomes tied again. And if player B wins another point, then player A will be down one point. And if player B wins one more time, player A will be down two points. In that case, player B is going to win. And from this state, when player A is down one point, if player A wins with 60% chance, then they will be back at tie again. So I have pretty much drawn five possible states. Why? On the left most case, that's when player B wins. Obviously, if player A wins by two points, player A wins the match. So the question is, what is the probability that player A wins the game from the middle state, given this tie state? Well, to solve this, we can actually work our way from the two end. From this last state, the probability that player A wins at plus two, that would be 100%. And on this left state, that probability that player A from this minus two state, that will be 0% because player B already lost. We don't know what the middle one is, but we can write out the next one when player A wins at probability given his one point. And also this probability when player A is down one point. So 
we have the probability of player A eventually winning at all five possible states. We can write down the expression among all these probability. So the left one and the right one, that's pretty simple. That's the, but the middle three are the ones that we need to figure out. So PA, given it's at the minus one states, that is going to be at 40%, point four times the states, which is zero, plus 60% of the right side, which is PA given they are tie. And then for the middle state, PA given tie is equal to 40% PA given A is going to be the at the minus one states plus 60% that play A is at the plus one state. And lastly, for this one, which is probability that player A, given it's at the plus one state, is 40% of probability that player A is eventually going to win at the tie state, plus 60% of this one, which is 100%, so we just won. So now we have three equations and three unknown. We can actually solve for it. So this one is just zero. So P play P A given minus one is equal to point six times P A given tie. And then P A plus one is equal to point four given PA tie plus 0 0.6. So now for the rest, you are basically substituting this PA given minus one into here and PA plus one into here. So we are going to rewrite the second equation as follow, right? So copy the same thing as this one, 0 0.4, 0 0.4 parentheses, this entire thing is going to be substituted with the 0.6 PA given tie here. And this are the PA given plus one. We are going to substitute it with this entire piece over here. And we just solve for this expression. So basically one minus this is 0 0.24, 0 0.24 of it, so it's 0 0.52. And then with the 0 0.6 times 0 0.6, 0 0.36, so PA given tie is 0 0.69. So the probability that player A will eventually win the game, given that it's currently at the tie state, is 0 0.69. Notice that we could use this to even figure out the probability that player A is eventually going to win at the minus one state or the plus one state by, by substituting this back. So this is a direct application of a, the Markov chain.